Today, we will talk about how to date a divorced man. Let's have a look at the details. Dating a divorced man can come with unique challenges. If you're interested in someone who's divorced, you can easily pursue a happy relationship with this person as long as you keep some things in mind. First, allow things to move slowly and naturally. A recently divorced person may be somewhat cautious. Keep your emotions regarding his ex in check. The first step is navigating a romance. Anticipate some issues with commitment. Someone who has gone through a divorce in the past year may not be ready for a serious relationship. However, if you're hoping for a more serious romance, make sure the man in question is ready to commit to a romantic relationship. Do not rush things. When dating a divorced man, the relationship may progress slower than usual. Keep your expectations in check. Navigating a new romantic relationship is always tough. Divorce, however, adds another layer of complication. Do not go into the relationship with specific expectations of how things will progress. Prepare for money to be an issue. Divorce can be very expensive. Between paying for lawyers, and things like alimony and child support, it can take a few years for divorced people to find financial stability. Do not expect a divorced man to be able to spend a lot of money on you. Have a discussion about advertising your relationship. Divorce is complicated. Children, family members, or mutual friends may have loyalty to the previous partner. Before you do something like, say, updating your Facebook relationship status, have a talk with the man you're dating. Make sure your needs are being met. If a divorced man is not ready to meet your needs, you cannot have a healthy relationship. At some point, think about what you need and whether you feel this man is capable of providing that. Communicate your feelings. If you ever feel your needs are not being met, it's important to communicate as much. You will need to sit down with your boyfriend and talk things out. While his feelings regarding the divorce are important, your feeling as his current partner also matter. The second step is regulating your emotions. Except your boyfriend may have a type. Many people get nervous when they realize they're similar to their boyfriend's ex-husband or wife. Everyone has a type of person they're attracted to, and you may very well have things in common with a previous spouse. Do not complain about his ex. It's a bad idea to complain to your boyfriend about his ex. Your boyfriend may harbor negative feelings about his ex that are difficult to process. You do not want to negatively affect his mood by fanning the flames. Learn about the circumstances slowly. If you're beginning to get serious, you may want to know about the divorce. How and why the divorce happened says a lot about your boyfriend. It can help you better understand how he approaches a relationship in the present. Do not take things personally. There are many little things that may feel like a snub or a rebuff when dating a divorced man. You may, for example, not be invited to certain family dinners or outings with mutual friends of your partner's spouse. Try to remember these things are not personal. And, the third step is dealing with family. Support him when he wants to spend time with his children. At the beginning of your relationship with him, your boyfriend may opt not to introduce you to his children. Your boyfriend may want to wait to introduce you until your relationship is serious. Strive for positive interactions with your boyfriend's children. Children may be distrustful or hostile to a new romantic partner for their parents. Understand this going in, and strive to keep interactions positive even if there is tension. Allow your boyfriend to decide when to introduce you. Never push him to introduce you to his family before he is ready, especially his children. There are many reasons your boyfriend may want to hold off on the introductions, and they are usually not personal. Allow him to go at his own pace and be respectful of when and how he chooses to make introductions. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.